everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over the Disney Plus Wave 1 of WandaVision, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and Loki from Marvel Legends. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. Number 10 is US Agent John Walker. The head sculpt is giving me the side eye, the paint is pretty dark, it isn't really that well applied, I don't think, either. It's very hard to see throughout the figure. It's good sculpting, but just bad paint on this guy. It's kind of a shame and doesn't really look all that good. The articulation's pretty okay. It just is bog standard by now for Marvel Legends. We've seen all this stuff before. Yeah, a lot of it's pinless, but doesn't really excuse the lack of just detail that could have been put on this figure. And it just kind of bothers me how this guy was sort of, you know, painted. It's really hard to distinguish you know how this figure really works the gun is molded inside the holster it's kind of just crummy throughout and kind of a shame the hands are your bog standard hands a gun holding hand that can swivel and hinge and a fist actually not a fist a holding hand that can swivel and hinge he also comes with two fists that can swivel and hinge that are the same kind of Fist, but it's just very standard for Marvel Legends and not really anything innovative. Number 9 is TVA Loki. I like the head sculpt for this Loki. The hair is very swept back and disheveled. It says variant on the back, which is pretty cool. We also get this little logo over here. The tie is squared off, which is pretty nice. The belt looks good. I do like the jacket. It looks really awesome. The pants are fine and good. He doesn't come with anything, though, as far as accessories go. He does swivel the head back and forth, up and down, up over here, all the way around on that kind of clicky hinge, swivel, and then up and down. It's the same standard kind of articulation we've been seeing forever on these figures. It's just kind of plain and boring, though. That's my problem. There isn't really anything much to offer for this figure except for that jacket and the head sculpt. It's pretty good, but it doesn't really make or break this guy for me. I love the head sculpt though, and it looks really great, that's why it's 9 and not 10, but yeah, they could do way better once again. Number 8 is White Vision. I was really excited to see this guy in the show, it was awesome. However, this guy has some issues like this cream colored thing over here and here, the cream color accents are kind of weird. I love the cape, it's all translucent, it looks beautiful. The head sculpt is really good too. Yeah, that's Paul Bettany with some blue on the top over here. We get a swivel up and down, we also get up over here down we can kind of get all the way around it's hindered by the cape but whatever swivel and then up over here down all new sculpt by the way it's really nice up and down with the hand doesn't really want to work that well on mine goes crunch down crunch back really far the cape is very flexible very nice swivel over here splits up back really nice articulation on that point get a swivel up here and no swivel down there, down, up, pivot, peg holes. Yeah, this is an okay figure. It's, you know, cool looking, but not really the best as far as I'm concerned when it comes to this line of figures. He does come with two accessories though, and that is fists. They move the same way we've seen every other fist, and it seems like they caught some paint. So yeah, another bummer with that figure, but it looks pretty cool anyways. Number seven is Sylvie. The head sculpt looks much better under camera light. There actually is a broken horn built into that. I thought it was broken for a second, then I remembered that her horn was broken. The hair looks really nice. It looks dirty enough. Pretty good for a character being on the run for so long, you know, no real haircuts or anything. It's a good head sculpt. A little bit shell shocked for my taste, but it's okay. I love this coat. It's wonderful. A little cloak kind of thing. Really beautifully done. Got the hood and everything, all specially made for her. A little bit of paint right over there, wherever that came from. The sword she has is really cool, it's a greenish blade with some runes on it, and the hilt is gold with like an otter or a dog or a horse, I think. Whatever. It looks nice though, in her hand. The green on her outfit looks good with the gold, and the black is there, but it's all just mostly black, which is kind of boring to me. And just taking this off before we go over articulation, around, up and down, you get up, down, all the way around, you get... No swivel there, you get a swivel over here. Single joint elbows, they haven't really evolved yet. Up and down over here. You also get all the way around and then forward and back pivots. You get side to side, up, back, 
all the way back for that. Really nicely done on that part. We get a swivel up here. We also get no swivel. Oh, we can do a swivel down here and down and up for that boot and pivot and pig hole, pig hole. Yeah, really nicely done on the articulation. I kind of am glad I put this at least this high on the figure range. Yeah, that's a very nice looking figure as far as she's concerned. She does come with some hands. She comes with a gripping hand and a, another like sort of like magic hand. And she comes with a fist and another gripping hand. So yeah, she's ready for battle. Number six is Mobius. Probably one of my favorite head sculpts in Marvel Legends. I really like Owen Wilson for the meme factor. It looks wonderful. This head sculpt, it's really nicely done. You can see him in there. It's great. The hair looks really nice and awesome. Digital scanning is going tip top. I love it. The tie is all squared off once again. We got the golden belt buckle. This is a suited body we've seen before, but it, there's so many little details on it that I just can't help but appreciate it. So yeah, we can swivel and then up and down. We also get up, down, all the way around. We get a swivel over here. We get up this far, down this far, swivel and then hinge. On the other side, it's a swivel and then hinge once again. We get a swivel here, down and up. Not really that great. Out, up, down, all the way back, down, swivel, and then down, up, and pivot, peg holes. I know I'm putting this guy kind of high, but it's my list, and I just love Owen Wilson. And he does come with some cool accessories, that little staff that he used to zap people. We also get this little, like, but this is why I put him so high. This little, like, contraption thing. Looks like one of those old cigarette boxes, but... It's a little time machine doohickey. I forget what it is. It also looks like a video game console, a little DS looking thing. Pretty cool. Very nicely done on that. It's really well good with the paint. So yeah, I really love this figure a lot and he's awesome. Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. Number five is Captain America. Sam Wilson, Falcon, Captain America looks really cool. I like how you can see the eyes behind the goggles. The goggle piece looks really intricate and cool. You can see his ears through that. You can see his hair over here. It's a really nice looking piece that meshes well with the suit. The scar is really cool. The stripes are really neat. It brings in a lot of Falcon and Captain America parts, which is really neat and awesome. The back is a little bit bland. There's a star over here, star over there, gauntlets, armor over here really well done on that this little belt's a nice little touch the pants are mostly blue with a little bit of white stripes they're fine at least the gauntlets for the legs the greaves are pretty cool too and the boots are silver looking nice from the back it looks pretty okay actually not too bad from the front it looks really good and you can move his head going back forward all the way around you get an up down all the way around pretty fine for that shoulder going up this far. It doesn't really want to work for me that well. You have to really force it up. It goes swivel and then hinge for both sides on that. Back, really weird. Forward, pretty good. Swivel, very nice. Out, in, up, down, all the way. Up, nope, not even. You go swivel and then down and up and then you get a pivot with two peg holes at the bottom of the feet. It's a nice figure, but there's something more to it than meets the eye. I appreciate it now, but let's see what we can add. There's a hole in his back. You can put this into this little backpack, which is fine, but what comes out of the backpack is even better. I like how this blue goes into his shoulders a bit. That's a really nice touch that I didn't even catch the first time around. Here is the Sam Wilson Falcon Captain America, totally in the flesh. We have these nice wings that are super big and huge. Yeah, this is my downfall for this figure. I wouldn't would have put it higher if it just had this, but it had to come with all this other stuff. And yeah, hinge, 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 kind of, sort of. Yeah, it's just, and then it swivels a lot on the back, and that's my big downfall for it, because it wants to fall off after a while. Yeah, it just really doesn't want to fit on here that great, too. It just kind of barely stays on. I don't know if it's the weight of these things. You got to re-engineer it, but that's a problem, I would think. It doesn't really work that well for me. It even comes with this little stand. It's very dinky and small, so I don't know why they'd put this in there with it. If they made it taller, like twice as tall, it'd be way better, but look, he's just standing right here. If you put him in a flight pose, it's fine, but it should bring him up no matter what. It And it looks dumb anyways. It's really stupid and doesn't work all that well. 
You also get wed Red Wing with him. I was going to say Wedding Ring. Red Wing that you just put up here. Kind of. And it just sort of stays there. I guess. It looks fine from the front. Like it's coming out and deploying. But I want a better pose and angle. And it just keeps falling off in the back. Red Wing's cool by the way. It has a nice paint on it. And is super cool. But yeah, taking this off, you don't even need this at all as an accessory to the character. What he really needs is just this backpack, which is, I believe, what he actually comes with. And then I think this shield, which I'm not even sure he comes with this, but I think he does actually. And it just goes into his arm like so. And you're good. Yeah, it's a nice shield. Works really well for the figure and looks super cool. Yeah, that's great. I love this thing. This is all you need for this figure. That's really it. He looks great and awesome. This is the Sam cap I didn't need. We don't need the wings. I'm probably going to sell this or something. Who knows? But yeah, just having this is fine by me. Number four is Bucky Barnes. I love the head sculpt on Bucky. It looks great. Really likes Sebastian Stan. Very nicely done. I know a lot of you are Sebastian Stan stands, so I thought you'd appreciate all of this. Anywho... We get this nice little arm that looks awesome, the Wakanda arm, really super cool. I like it a lot. I'm not sure if it's Wakanda arm or not, but it's just great. I love the detailing on this shirt. It's wonderful. Carries down to here with this glove. Looks really neat. The pants are, sure, they're a little bit, you know, bland, but I like the boots. The boots are really cool. They got little, you know, buckles that are pretty neat, and they look leathery as opposed to the pants, so that's a nice detail that I really love. Different materials, different stuff. This looks like metal. This looks like cloth, kind of. This looks like cloth over here, and this looks like a shiny boot. It's really well done. On the back, kind of plain. This arm's super cool. But yeah, I think it's a little bit better. It's understated, which is what I look for with action figures. Little details, not the big overall spectacle, but little details that make it look so much better. As far as, you know, hands go, he comes with this trigger hand over here for nothing in particular. He comes with this fist hand for punching in particular. They do swivel and then hinge and swivel and then hinge we do get a gripping hand that has the same articulation looks really neat we also get for the other side a fist for punching really cool he can punch he can grab he can hold he can do a lot of stuff he's very multifaceted moving on to articulation time we get a swivel and then a hinge i think ball joint it's a ball joint kind of hinge combo it's pretty cool we also get up down all the way around we get a swivel and then we get another hinge over here. We get, well, I already went over the articulation for the hand. We go back, forward, swivel. We go out, in, up, down. All the way back. Very nicely done on that. We get a swivel up here. We get a swivel down here and down and up. And then pivot with two peg holes at the bottom of the feet. This is a really nicely done figure. I really like Bucky Barnes as a character. He also looks super cool and is worthy for the number four spot on the list. Number three is John Walker, Captain America. This is the same body sculpt for the John Walker US Agent Captain America, but man, what a difference color and accessories makes. So going over this guy, he looks really nice. There's no side eye on that. The red and blue looks incredibly awesome. I love the look for this guy. It's really wonderful. That really vibrant, bright red, the deep blue, and just the color of the boots and Everything else, sure, you still have that little gun over there that isn't going to move at all. But it looks so much better. The presentation is wonderful. The silver on the back of the shield is really nice. This clip always bothered me, but it doesn't stop me from just doing this. That's all I need. He doesn't come with the other hands because he comes with the shield. And one more really great accessory that puts this guy over the top. That's super cool. Yeah, looks really nice. Very good sheen on that shield. Just awesome. Yeah. And if you want the other hands on him, you can take the other Captain America and just give them to him. It's very similar in paint texture. You know, you won't really notice the difference. So yeah, this is a really nice sculpt. But what brings it over the top for me is the second head that comes with it. That is the spinning image of Wyatt Russell. And it is phenomenal. They did a great job with this guy. To the point where uh, people were giving him hate mail for his character. And that is, I think, an achievement of being a great character. When people start hating you, you know you're doing something right. This is a phenomenal head sculpt. It looks wonderful, not only for the character, but for the actor as well. Just sells it. If somehow Wyatt Russell is watching this, thank you. You did a great job with your character, and I really want to see you in more projects. Go Thunderbolts. I believe you're in that, at least. 
But yeah, this is just a really nicely done figure with some really great accessories that put it over at the top for me. And yes, you can use the other US agent pieces on this one, so don't worry. This number three, yep, yep. Number two is Zemo. The Daniel Brule head sculpt is fantastic. I love this one a lot. It looks just like him. This is incredible. This is great. The hair, everything about it. Nothing nothing but the best for the Dance King. I love this guy so much. The really nice purple mauve. We got the nice sort of jacket harkening back to his comic look. The like fuzzy part is great. The jacket looks really awesome. The purple is really good on this guy. The gloves are that classic purple Zemo. We get over here, some nice look over with the niceties on the pants and the shoes are really good. This belt buckle is really cool also. It's just a really nice piece. He does have some nice articulation too that runs with this figure. It's not really that hindered by the jacket and that's why I like it. It's very nicely done. You do get some really good, you know, hands here. We also get some pointing hand over here. They can go back and forth, up and down. It's kind of like almost a ball joint inside of this thing, you know. It isn't really that mobile, but it's still pretty cool. The crunch is nice too on this guy. It doesn't really go about all that back. But really, this is mostly about my love for the character rather than this, this figure. But I really like how this is just done and portrayed. Again, from the bottom, it's just your regular suited body, but I don't mind those. I like the suited bodies, actually. They're pretty good as far as it's concerned with articulation. Yeah, the, even the shoes are, I think are new, and this nice little piece is way better done, I think, than any other sort of suited body part, so I'm really happy about that. Yeah, we do get two peg holes too. This is just wonderful. I love this piece a lot. There's a lot more accessories, though. Taking off the head, we could put on the true Zemo head, you know, from the comics. Getting that on there is really nice. Yeah, you can't really tell it's him. The eyes kind of give it away, though. It's really wonderful. Really good piece right over here. I really want to see Zemo in Thunderbolts. I believe he'll be great in that. I think he's in that. I hope he's in that. As far as hands go, taking off the hands, he does come with two fists. And yeah, punching is great. He comes with also a gold gun that I kind of hate in a way. And the book that he reads from. And this is the best accessory I think ever. Yeah, that's awesome. The freight train, whatever words he says to Bucky to wake him up. From his slumber. This is a really nice piece. I love the little star on it and also the weathering on it. it looks really great. But yeah, this is just a wonderful character with a great head sculpt. I really love this figure a lot and it's just super well done. Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. Number one is Scarlet Witch. Phenomenal likeness of the character in the TV series, WandaVision. Really nice look. The hair is awesome. I love the little crown she has. But look at this hair. It's beautifully done. The little crown is great too. It's a little bit rubbery, so it really nicely works out. Great face sculpt. Super wonderful. Really nice on the figure. The head does move around and goes up and down. And the hair doesn't really bother it that much at all. You get some great pivot in there too. You can go up with the arm, down with the arm all the way around with the arm. Yeah, it looks wonderful. Get some nice swivel here. Really, really good on this articulation over here. There's a magic casting hands, goes up and down. That look great. You get some swivel and then all the way around over here. With that, you get some out. It's kind of a problem over here with this, you know, you go out a little bit though. Doesn't you really need her to go out with her legs that much. Do some acrobatics. Swivel over here, up, and then back, not really that far because of the co the coat, the cloak. Now this is weird. I don't know why this is here, and this kind of bugs me. I didn't notice this until now. They hit it really well, though. I'm very surprised. They could have put it on the bottoms of your feet, but doesn't really want to work down up, pivot. I'm just really happy about this figure, how she looks. She looks great from all angles. Wonderful figure, but I think like what puts her over the top for me, at least, is the accessories, how they make her hands fully translucent pink. And that's really great. I love how this looks. And then you add on the accessories, and it just even gets better and better. I wish they had more of these. You know, I think the hallmark of anything, at least, like, for action figures too, is wishing for more. 
I want more of this. Give me more of this kind of thing. Not in a bad way, but in a good way. This is just super cool having her do some kind of like, you know, spell. This is awesome and wonderful looking and really cool. And yeah, she's definitely number one. You can use her for this. You can use her for the Wand see, WandaVision. You can use her for Multiverse of Madness. She's a very multifaceted character that, you know, I'm glad she gets her due. This is great. Overall, this is a pretty good way for Marvel Legends. They're not all hits, but they're not all misses either. They're really good figures, and I'm really glad that they themed them all to a wave instead of having them spread throughout a bunch of waves. If you love Disney Plus and the TV shows, get this wave. It's for you. Sylvie is a pretty good character for customization, but not much else. I do like the coloration on her and the head sculpt is pretty nice, at least under studio light. Loki himself is a bore. He isn't really that great. The face sculpt is saving him, though and it's still pretty good. Mobius is awesome. I really love the head sculpt. The suit is really nice too. It's a good color for him. And I love the little data pad. It's really neat and great. US agent Captain America, John Walker at least, is disappointing. He doesn't really come with anything that great except for a pair of fists that you could easily give the other one. The Zemo figure is awesome. I love the look for the head sculpt for Daniel Brühl. And the accessories are top notch and really cool. John Walker himself, Captain America, is fantastic. I love the head sculpt. I love the coloration. I wish he came with those fists. He'd be excellent. The shield really puts him over the top, though, and it's just great. Speaking of shields, Captain America, Falcon, at least, is really nicely done. I like how the sculpt is done for the body. I just wish those wings were better. The head sculpt is fantastic, too. I love the shield on him as well. If those wings were better, he'd be way higher on the list. Bucky is awesome. I love how he looks. I love the different gold on his arm. It's wonderful. The head sculpt is great too. I also like the really sort of clash of civilian clothing slash, you know, tactical clothing. It's really nicely done. Vision is good. I just wish he didn't have that cream on him that puts him down. The cape is awesome. The head sculpt is pretty good. And he's just a very decent figure. It's actually pretty nice. Scarlet Witch is the top of the top here. She's wonderful, awesome, great, fantastic. I don't know what else to say. Not because she's a woman, not because she's Elizabeth Olsen, and not because Scarlet Witch is a really powerful character, just because it's really accurate to the series and nails it on the first try rather than needing anything or wanting to change anything. This is the top tier figure for the wave. And if any, pick up Scarlet Witch. She's excellent. I'd also recommend Zemo, the regular Captain America, and Bucky as well. Maybe Mobius if you like. Wow. But yeah, great wave. I like it a lot. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jessieheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned.